The early captain gets taken down by Greco. Greco taken down by the Executioner. Executioner's Two versus four situations. Well, situations. well here. They have to rotate back to the objective. It's wide open. Which is exactly what they're doing. Carl Trump running in the center. He's going to get taken down. He gets taken down. It's a one versus four situation there. Rabo man capping now. St oh, this could be the biggest upset down. He's taken. <laughs> oh, Lemon Squad should have known better. They didn't close down that objective. Like I said, it's not an objective coverage that I expected them to take. Now they're on the back foot on the attack. 3-1 down. It's the quick swing that we see from the Danglers. And of course, the heroic specifically coming in from Stumpy. Now, two entry kills for him to give access to the site. For the Danglers, they're putting him now 5-3 overall on the map at this point. The quick swing from Danglers. Good wordplay. Um, so, <laughs> interestingly, Lemon Squad, I would have expected them to have a more adapted, well, more, uh, a stronger defense on that objective. They left the northwest flank, well, the north flank wide open, having only one defender on that side, and it showed they had to, they had to rush to get it back into position where two of them were cut down on that transfer back to the objective. Meanwhile, the, the last guy couldn't make it back in time, and the cap was made. Very much so. so the ability to push in and use those buildings in, in the southern approach to cover their approach. Lemon Squad need this, but they're going to be feeling that pressure so much right now, realizing how close they are to going out. There we go, players have been let out. And unsurprisingly, Lemon Squad are going to be taking the South Canyon route. I'm going to check the hotel, don't cross yet, okay? Leaving Caltrop on the upper edges of this just to try and give him a shot against anyone who might try to challenge Lemon Squad early on here. It's really important that uh, Lemon Squad are keeping that communication lines open. It's not unusual for a team who have just taken a big blow like that to just close down and forget to communicate and just go inside their own heads. They're still in this. They can still bring it back. It's unlikely, but they can do it. We go pushing forward first. Again, he's definitely been the most vocal of the group. We're going to rely on him for info early on in the round. Thankfully, it's not only like there's a whole lot of resistance on this side from Danglers, but you got one or two people maps. Ribo Man can change position pretty easily and stop it as well, but it's really only one player way up on the west that was watching it from a wall, I think. Besides that, this is a pretty open route for Lemon Squad to push into, as far as I can tell. Yeah, good spread from Lemon Squad. I don't think, uh, I don't think Danglers have any clue where they are right now. So Polis has already made his way towards the start of the village. South Guard area there. It's a company called South Guard because it guard, guards the uh, valley exit so he's falling back he's made some noise he's not really sure we're not really sure what he's doing Luella takes down Raffneck though in the first pickup Lemon squad down to four players they are four people away from going out right now the Danglers still sitting patiently in their positions here no reason to panic as they get especially now with a man advantage in their court just need to shut down these remaining players and spot the pushes. Wika might be next up the back here to try something around the corner. He has spotted his opponent for the day. He's way down the field behind that wall, but it's not going to get much in the way of a peak, so backs up from that relatively quickly. Synthorian alone on this flank right now, looking for an opportunity to press in. It's going to be a hard push because there are danglers covering that approach. Meanwhile, Lemon Squad pushing up in the south. Danglers have a single player in the mid-hotel, covering the objective from the south. And in general, I don't think Lemon Squad have had too much of a successful track record with their flanks so far throughout this series, so... it's very true. So the northern flank, I wouldn't rely on that too much to lead into their victory. It's definitely going to have to be this main group pushing in. But once we see Synthorian really come alive with this push on his own towards the north. It's such a hard push to make. But, looking at the lineup from Danglers, they don't have the specific eyes on that approach path, so he could theoretically push in. Meanwhile, South push from Lemon Squad, making ground, using those smokes. But not aggressively enough, in my opinion. They've got the smokes in place, but they're looking for pickups rather than pushing in. Guku and Polisable should be roughing, uh, rushing at mid-hotel right now, in my opinion. And I think they're going to pay for that when the smoke runs out and they still haven't pushed in. Just hesitating right now. Synthorian continues to hold a West Red car. The stress on Lemon Squad right now, going through the roof. We got a man down, they haven't picked anyone up, and they real they, they know how close they are to going out right now. Ryba man able to hear Guika underneath him. Guika has still made his push through, has got himself forward. Another smoke, I do believe, right here, but nope, never mind. Oh, as we heard they, from him. Meant for Ryba man, but it didn't even go up near. Oh, Centaurian taken down by stopping up. Centaurian taken down in the same place he did last time by the same player. He makes too much noise, doesn't make any ground. It's three versus five now. Caltrop taken down. It's now a two versus five situation. It's looking bad for Lemon Squad. The only realistic trade I see Lemon Squad being able to obtain would be the kill against Riboman directly on the inside of the house right here. Now Nade's coming in. They know he's in there, but it's more support actually coming in from the rest of his own oh teammates to fish out the work. Is trying to try and do a ninja cap. He doesn't realize he's going to get picked off from behind him any second now. 
this is just I can't watch this. Are we because... actually going to see a peek for the window? That's the question. Because he's key... because Rival Man inside is kind of held down. That's the thing. Yeah, but he doesn't know. Like Rival Man's happy to be there. Police are on the roof, but oh my gosh, this is. Oh dear. Is he? He's close enough now, I think, or he's very close to it. If Rival Man gets a peek, he's going to take him out. Does Luella have sight lines peaking, on that no. objective? Does Luella have sight lines? And nope. He oh my god! I can't believe we're seeing this. Wait, no! no Rival Man sees him. Sees him. And that is going to bring us down to one, oh, and only one player Impossible remaining. Impossible had taken him down and actually cleared that building. Greg had a chance. I wonder how close Greg was to actually finishing that code. What are you guys doing? Oh no, and Rival Man's oh, gloating now. <laughs> oh. Obviously, doesn't know how many are left exactly, but he knows he's got at least one or two more players to around. clear that place again. It's not an unusual position to, to have a player, and I cannot believe Possible didn't sweep it. <laughs> so important. They had an opportunity there, and it's gone. I, with a minute 20 left on the clock, five enemies left. And it's over! Lemon Squad are out! Danglers are through! The only EU hope of securing the third position